gangsters. Hey, gangsters. We're on the road again. Where are we going? <laughs> We're headed to Julian Price Campground. Yeah. Right off the Blue Ridge Parkway. Yeah. It's on Price Lake. It's near Grandfather Mountain. So the hideout is pretty much set up now. I mean, we want to do uh, decorating things in there, but other than that, we're... As far as function goes, we're good. Yeah, we're pretty good. As far as, like, you know, make it look pretty, I'm going to leave that up to Amber. She's good at that, and I'm not. Okay. If I did it, it would be all tie-dye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for comfortable and casual and colorful, probably. Something happens when a woman gets in her 60s. She just likes more color. I don't know, maybe we're going a little blind or something and we just need more color. But lots of us uh, seniors like some color. That's fine. What can I say, right? Yeah, yeah, he's been wearing this for years. So, <laughs> look at the one wearing sedate colors and colorful colors. Yeah, in case you hadn't noticed, I do happen to like tie dye. Just about every time you see me, not every time, but most every time you see me, I'll be <laughs> wearing some tie dye. Yeah, I'll have uh, to get some gangster shirts made. Some yeah. tie dye gangster shirts. Oh yeah. Into that. So this video will be the first video with our new uh, jingle. I wrote a jingle for y'all um, yeah. related to our channel. Uh, it's called I'm a Gangster. <laughs> so, so if you follow us, you get to be a gangster and the song's about you. That's right. And you, you know, of course sing along. Uh, <laughs> but at any rate, I would love to hear your guys' comments guys, ladies, whatever, uh, comments about the song, Jingle, and if you like it, does it add, should I can it, you know, and don't worry, you, you can be ruthless, it's alright, my wife doesn't like the song, so <laughs> she would like to can it. <laughs> my ideas were more of a theme along the lines of, I don't know, Bonanza, or some like western <laughs> country movie, you know, where you have hideouts and gangsters instead of hard rock like city punks. Rock but, and roll. But, you know. Gangsters. I'm, I'm open. It's growing on me. <laughs> oh, okay. So. And then one other thing, on a more serious note, I wanted to address something that was brought up by one of our uh, gangsters, actually. Um, somebody made the comment that I was interrupting Pam and not letting her finish sentences and stuff. And I went back and looked at the video that this person was referring to, and they're right, I was. Um, and it wasn't, that's not my intention, of course, and I, and I don't want to offend people or people's feelings or, you know, come across as unfeeling or not caring. So, um, I told this person that they were right, you know, and, and that I would try to do a better job of not doing that in the future and, uh, and apologize to Pam, which I did do that. He did. And, um, but I just wanted to address it and say, you know, that I'm going to try and be better about doing that. I think basically in my zeal to provide, uh, content that moves along and is interesting, I sometimes will add, to, in my mind I'm thinking I'm adding to a thought, but what it comes across as is I'm cutting her off, and I, that's not my heart, but that doesn't make any difference, because that's what it looks like, I'm cutting her off. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, but Pam and I, we've been together for, it'll be 32 years this year, so, uh, you know, We've I'm worked out a lot it. of things in the past, and, uh, you know, we're completely capable of working things out, and we've got a pretty good track record of doing that, you know. Are we flawless? No. Have we had issues? Heck yeah. Uh, will we have more? Probably. <laughs> but, um, you know, we're happy. We're not, we're not miserably, yeah. we're not miserably together. Yeah. 
So, so anyway, I just wanted to point that out. And then on another side note, we're going to go to a place for our anniversary this year, our 32 year anniversary, called The Hike Inn. And yeah. some of you might be interested in this. It's a place in Georgia that is at the Amicalola Falls or something like that. I'll, I'll put the I'll put it up on the screen. But I think it's like Amicamola or Amicapola or something like that. Falls State Park in Georgia. And inside that state park, they have a five-mile hike in to a... Basically, it's a hotel in the woods that you have to hike to. You cannot get there any other way. You can't drive to it. So, yeah. And we've actually been to Lacan Lodge, which is also a similar thing, um, up on Mount Lacan in uh, North Carolina. It's in North in, Carolina, it's right? It's in the Great Smokies. It's in the Great Smokies. Yes. Um, but we've, we've actually been on that hike. It's a much, it's really cool. much more challenging hike than this one's going to be. Yeah. Um, but, it, you know, it's really a cool experience to hike in somewhere and spend the night. They, they provide you with dinner and breakfast and then you're on And your it's way. a sustainable place. So when we do that, we'll make a video and we'll share all those details. But we're excited and we hope you look forward to it. So anyway, I just wanted to, you know, address that because, uh, you know, and also to say thank you to all the new subscribers we've got. We've actually had a few new subscribers. Yeah. So that's exciting to Thank us. You. And yeah, I mean, we're we like, try to be anybody want to, anybody want to see us? I can't imagine, you know, it's encouraging. So yeah. Yeah. But anyway, that's all we have to say for the moment, I think. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cut. Cut. Well, they did it again.
all set up and here comes the water waterman looks really happy so we were walking by this sign and noticed it might have been here for a while <laughs> <laughs> that thing is growing right out of the sun. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is at Julian Price uh, Campground. Cool place. Morning, gangsters. Good morning. We uh, have had our morning runs individually. This is the next morning, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> We spent the night here at Julian Price Campground last night, so. Mm -hmm. We have had our morning run. We have had, well, I ate breakfast. Mark is skipping breakfast. And uh, took showers, did the dishes, you know, set up this campsite to be alone without us for a few hours. And um, we're headed over to the Moses Cone house. And um, there's a regional craft center there. There's an old, older house that you can tour. And we don't exactly know what we're gonna find and what there is to do, but it's an adventure and we're on it. So we'll be back. Hi, gangsters. Hey, gangsters. So we got here at about 1045 on a Friday. We are at the Moses Moses Cone. Cone Manor House and Craft Center. And um, there's nowhere to park. So there's Benfield and we're walking up. Here we go. Here we go. It's a short walk. about seven or eight years ago um, for just a few minutes so hopefully today we'll get to go and tour the upstairs this afternoon We're back at the camper having a quick lunch. Mm -hmm. What you having? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ham and Swiss and spicy mustard and mayonnaise mm -hmm. on a bagel. And everything bagel. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Moses's widow, Bertha, lived here until her death. She died in the house. Um, and she was more of a private woman, so they didn't have big parties here. Yeah, this they, is not a party house. No, they had family, they had friends. Um, six bedrooms, four baths. They had a couple of showers in the house. Which in, was cutting edge. Yes, it was, it was cutting edge for the time. They had behind the house a, a laundry house, which is not here anymore. 
And in the laundry house, they had some sort of acetylene that they could drip water through and it created acetylene gas, which powered all of the lamps in the and, house. Yes, powered all the lamps, yes. Mm -hmm. So anyway, beautiful house and beautiful, beautiful life. Grounds. Yeah. The pond down at the bottom, can you see it from here? I think so. So yeah, there's a shot of the lake down there. So tell us about the Moses H. Cone flat top manor. For people who were incredibly wealthy, it is a very modest country house in the mountains, built right, right at the turn of the century, early into the early 1900s. And um, unfortunately, Moses Cone um, died when he was 51, and his wife managed to keep the property for about until she died in 47. And in 49, the property was, uh, the contested will made it all the way to the Supreme Court, and, the, and it was decided that the original in, in, indenture, I think she said, the original will that she had signed in 1911 stood and it had been signed by her and all of the potential heirs of this 3,600 acres saying that the property could not be broken up and, and you know, broken up and sold off in pieces. And so ultimately when, when she died, her piece of the property went into the hands of the Moses Cone Medical System in Greensboro, North Carolina and their trustees turned it over to the U.S. government in 1949 or 1950. And they are providing this place for the public, which was Moses' original intention. When he was alive and when they lived here, people from the area could come and use their carriage, carriage roads like this and um, picnic on the grounds and enjoy this gorgeous beauty in the mountains. This is a really nice facility here for doing our dishes. It works pretty good. Yeah. What are you using for a dish rack? This here. <laughs> it's uh, my sock. A sock. This is what you do when you forget your washcloth. You use what you got. <laughs> It probably works, works all right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it works okay. <laughs> so today, once we get the dishes done and change our shoes, we're heading over, back over to the Moses Cone Park area, and we are going to hike up the trail that goes to the Fire Watch Tower. It's, um, it's a there and back trail. It's three miles each way. It's a nice old carriage road. So stay tuned, we'll be making some more film. Yep, here we go. Morning, gangsters. Morning. We are on our way. Up to uh, the fire tower. Yeah. It's a, I don't hold this phone very still. It's a, seems like so far, a gradual incline. But I'm gonna turn around so you can see the uphill ahead of us here. Pretty trail, really wide. We just passed a small family with a stroller and three kids. And if they can make it, we can. They've been up and back already. Either that or they gave up and turned around. We didn't ask. <laughs> 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 but yeah, we got, you know, switchbacks through the woods. We started off in cow pasture, you know, on the edge of the cow pasture. And uh, beautiful woods. With all the rain that there has been recently, it's very humid and uh, damp. Not hot though. Yeah, it's not hot. It's probably 72. 
I don't even know what the temperature is, but it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's mostly overcast. Good day for a strenuous hike, which is what this is rated. It's nice. But so far, it ain't too bad. It's not too bad. We'll check in later. So, hello, gangsters. We're uh, headed up this carriage. It's actually a carriage path, basically, that we're on. Nice and wide gravel. Yeah. And uh, there's a little side trail came off and this is where it takes you. Bang! All right, you're on video, Pam. Oh. Tell us a story. Uh, <laughs> it's a scary climb up here. Every foot step, every footfall shakes the tower of yourself or the other people coming up and down. Got to have a little tiny bit of confidence in this uh, man-made structure. You do. Yeah. yeah. But into that direction, it's all kind of overcast. You can't have, you don't have a great view. I'll try and hold the camera up and see if I can get a better yeah. shot. But over that way. I am, I am holding on to the railing though. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's worth, worth it. A walk. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. So this here is the lake that you can see from the house up there. It's the, what's called the Bass Lake from the Moses H. Cone. Uh, I think it's called Flat Top Manor. This is the uh, this is the Bass Lake. Yeah, which is really pretty. It's got a lot of lily pads in it and. All kinds of little fish. Sun, look at all the little fish. Maybe those are little bass. Who knows? I don't know. I don't it's, know my fish. They stocked it with bass, and they planted these water lilies in the shallows, according to the information up there. Oh, see, she's been paying a lot more attention than I have. Yes, I, I read the details. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so there is the house way up on the hill over there. This little carriage trail that goes around the lake down here is actually pretty picturesque in places, you know? I mean, it's obvious that Mr. Moses H. Cone was, you know, he was trying to create a vibe here. And I think he was actually pretty darn successful. I mean, it's definitely got a vibe. It's very picturesque. So, and I would call it a good vibe. How about you? Yeah. Yeah. So we've learned quite a bit about Moses H. Cone and yes, we, have. we think he might be a pretty cool dude. And then his wife, Bertha, was a cool lady. Mm -hmm. So She continued the dream. Yeah, she kind of continued the dream, yeah. But yeah, this was basically, was his long-term goal was to turn this all into a park. And well, <laughs> it's a park, so that's kind of cool. Time to go home. It's always bittersweet. 
it is, but you know, it, it was really nice. I really enjoyed coming to Julian Price Camper. Right, and we spent a bunch of time at Moses Cone and could spend a bunch more time there. That, that and there's a lot of other things around here to see that we have not yet seen, so. Right. We're, uh, we're definitely coming back. Right, yeah. like Pretty close to home. Yep, pretty close to home. Like, we might make reservations again in the next four to six weeks. Have to check our calendar, but it's close to home. It's a national park. Uh, when the weather is nice, like it is today, of course, on the day we're leaving. On the day we're leaving, it decides to not be rainy. Of course, I don't know. It might turn out to yeah, be rainy. But it might be rainy later, but uh, it was gorgeous. Currently, it is gorgeous. Yeah, and it seems like the... The Blue Eddy and the cooler did what they needed to do. Our food didn't go bad. No, it did good. We're still healthy yeah. <laughs> and headed headed home to uh, you know do some laundry and get ready for the coming week. Um, I don't know. That's all I can think of. Yeah. We had a lovely time. We're coming back. We hope we get to meet you here one day in the future. Yeah, we actually met some. Uh, I, I think we have some new followers as a result of it just coming here. They they saw our little sign and they were like, oh. Went and checked out your channel. We yeah, liked it. Yeah. That was good. So yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, in a campground with no electricity, so they they were willing to invest whatever electricity they had acquired. Yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we're headed home. We have a little bit of a drive on the Blue Ridge Parkway, and then we'll be getting on the highway. And but you know, first we have to get around the bicyclist who's immediately ahead of us. Hey, and it's all good. It's, it's good. In the meantime, he's going uphill at 15 miles an hour, so go, dude. See ya, gangsters. Bye, gangsters. Yeah. Hey there. I'm Mark, and that's Pam. We're the Runaway Gang. Be sure and join us on our next adventure.